All right, so here are some of the symptoms. Uh, I was driving down the interstate doing about 75 and all of a sudden the ABS light came on, cruise control shut off, and then the brake light came on and then I got the problem message and then that red PS light. Um, I, I guess also I should mention the, the biggest thing that happened is complete loss of power steering. Um, and this was, you know, I was, I was about an hour from home. Luckily the car still drives. Um, at the time, the speedometer was even still working, but after shutting the car off and turning it back on, it no longer comes on either. The fuel gauge is flashing, there's no reading. The gear indicator is flashing with no reading. Um, so I think there's definitely some kind of CAN network issue going on. In addition to that, the none of the windows work except for the drivers. The air conditioning stopped working. You can press AC Auto and the fan will come on and the fan speed will change depending on what temperature you select. But also, the climate control is completely gone. You have no MPG reading, no data. Like, you can still put this car into gear and move around, but it doesn't show anything on the dash there. And none of the climate information is available, as you can see. And um, obviously the cruise control is non-responsive. I think you can still turn it on. Maybe not, but yeah, um, I was I was fooling with these wires up here because um, these were stuck into the back of the connector for the dimming mirror, and they had come loose and they weren't working. So I was wiggling them around trying to reconnect them while driving. Yes, I know, but um, this immediately happened after that. I don't know if it's related or not, but um, here are the codes. Now I did the 12 volt battery reset shortly after this happened um, i initially went straight to the power steering module to pull codes but there was a communication error um, the u codes are can line communication errors like uh, i think a couple of those are to the brake model module error power steering module error um, so i haven't checked fuses yet but i'm going to do that all right so slight progress um, everything seems to be functional at the moment. I haven't road driven it or road tested it or anything like that, but I got the problem message and the red triangle. And I checked on code C1442. That's kind of like where I started my investigation. It says 1242, ignition one, ignition two circuits did not have parallel power with one another. Um, and there's a few potential trouble areas there. I started with fuses and inside the vehicle, there is this small ignition fuse panel right up under there. And I found that the number six ECU ignition 7.5 amp fuse was blown. I swapped it with a spare that I had, and this is the progress so far. I'm about to clear the codes and see what comes back. All right, so I've cleared the codes and re-scanned. Uh, the only thing coming up is a B1421 for, in the AC module. And this is a solar sensor circuit for the passenger side. It's a really common code on these cars. It doesn't cause any issue. And if I remember correctly, I had that code before all of this happened. I think I've had the code since I've had the car. Um, but yeah, so I'm about to go road test it and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, so test drive, everything seems to be fixed. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary. I know that when I reset the battery or disconnected and reconnected the battery, it lost the auto down and auto up function on the window. So I've got to re reset that. But I'm, I'm almost certain that with me messing with these wires on the mirror, that there is a power and there's a ground here because the mirror needs that to function. And that I must have shorted them together when I was messing with that while driving. So I think the two ignition circuits that are in the code description one is probably for engine controls and engine management, and the other is probably for accessory controls, like the air conditioning, the, the instrument cluster, the cruise control, things like that. And that's why when that line went dead, everything went dead, especially because it's all communicated via the can. So the 
it makes sense for if one goes dead that it could affect all of them. So if uh, you have these weird symptoms and you find that fuse blown, something made it blow. And in this case, it was the mirror power wires. So anyways, I uh, hope this finds somebody helpful. Um, yeah, just a weird, unexpected coincidence.